am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today what I've got is some information on Josh, let me adjust this camera, on Josh Shapiro. So he's the governor of Pennsylvania, and um, I didn't know anything about him, so I did a little research, I'll tell you about it, it won't take long, and then we'll pull the cards to see how he's going to be on Kamala Harris's pick. So Josh Shapiro, uh, another VP choice perhaps for Kamala Harris, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video, and if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Just subscribe, it's free, it helps me, and, you know, helps the channel grow, and then you can say, oh, I'm part of this, I watch this channel, it's got all these, you know, millions of people watching it, well, maybe thousands. So, um, please, subscribe, and thank you very much, just for watching. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Josh, uh, David Shapiro. So I'll tell you a little bit about him. And uh, he is a very uh, interesting uh, fellow. Uh, so uh, hang on and I'll have a few pictures to sprinkle out uh, throughout this thing. So his name is Josh David Shapiro. He was born on June 20th, uh, 1973. He's an American attorney and a p politician serving since 2023 as the 48th governor of Pennsylvania. And he's, of course, a Democrat. And he served as the 50th attorney general of Pennsylvania from 2017 uh, to 2023. That was two terms, if I'm not mistaken. Now, he ran for uh, Pennsylvania Attorney General in 2016. Yeah, here it is right here. And he defeated the Republican and was reelected in 2020. So he was born, uh, like I said, uh, in, but, uh, in June 20, 1973, but in Kansas City, Missouri. And he spent a few years of his childhood on a U.S. naval base while his father, Steve, served as a uh, medic. medic. Yeah, and then his father worked as a pediatrician, and his mother, uh, Judy, uh, worked as a teacher, and Shapiro was raised in a Jewish household. So he attended the University of Rochester, he majored in political science, and became the first freshman to win election as uh, the student body president of the University of Rochester in 1992, and he graduated magna cum laude in 1995, and then got his Juris Doctor in 2002, so he's a lawyer like they all are. Uh, adult life as a public servant. Uh, okay, most of his adult life here, interesting. So most of his adult life was in public service in Washington, D.C. from 2006 to 2017. And he also practiced corporate law from the firm of Stradley, Ronan, Stevens, and Young in Philadelphia. So um, interesting guy. Just a little bit more here. Now, the previous attorney general, uh, before he became attorney general, had started uh, an investigation of sexual abuse uh, perpetrated by members of the Catholic Church. Shapiro inherited that and carried it to its conclusion. And in 2018, the results of an extensive grand jury report, the report alleged the sexual abuse of more than 1,000 children over 300 priests. And it prompted similar investigations in other states into the Catholic Church. And I don't know, we should all remember that. I don't remember all that. Now, he met his wife, Lori, in ninth grade as they both attended uh, Akiba Hebrew Academy, which is now the Jack M. Brock Hebrew Academy. Coincident with that name, Brock. Uh, then in, uh, in, in, um, that was in Marion Station. And they dated in high school and reconnected after college. Okay, so they knew each other as teenagers, but they drifted. This is the reconnected after college. We all both were living in uh, D.C. and he proposed to her in Jerusalem in 1997, and uh, they married on May 25th of 1997. Wow! And uh, they have four children. They live in the governor's mansion, of course, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And he is an observant, he, conservative Jew who keeps kosher. So, so we're talking about. So let's see what the cards say. I haven't used this uh, deck in a while. This is the Line Strider uh, Tarot by Ciolo Thompson. And if I'm not mistaken, she's a Seattle uh, artist. And um, I love using these cards. Uh, they're very gentle. Uh, they're very uh, subtle. Um, I don't know. I just really, and artful. And uh, so it's amazing to, to see the talent that's just out there amongst us every day. When you're at the grocery store, you don't know who is standing next to you. And uh, there might be some amazing ability that you're not aware of but uh, like I always say if you're interested to know more about these cards they're in a video at the end of the video at the end of this video they're in a, there's a little snippet there about them and uh, I don't get paid any of that just when I used to be 
um, just a viewer, I would like to know more about the cards I was seeing and I collected all behind me. You can see on both sides tons of tarot cards, probably 60 or 65 um, different decks and they're all, I don't think there's one that I don't like. But anyway, so uh, Josh Shapiro, Josh Shapiro, so he has been in politics his whole life and now he's gotten to the pinnacle. He's the governor of Pennsylvania and uh, that's pretty amazing. But um, I guess uh, they're thinking, they could be thinking, uh, is he going to bring that state with him, all those votes? Uh, so, uh, Josh Shapiro, hmm, I wonder if it's serious, if this is a, if this is one that, um, I wonder if it could be two, two serious people on the ticket at the same time might be too much. I don't know, Josh Shapiro, but you know, before we do any of that, I almost forgot, let's have just a moment. Meditation. So Josh Shapiro, what's, how is he going to fare in all of this? So is he a serious uh, candidate in this race? Uh, in, in, you know, in the vice president's mind, Kamala, is he a serious, you know, to be, really be considered uh, option for her karmically? Two of Swords. Um, that's how to choose a way to go. Interesting. So, uh, could this mean, um, is she going to choose a lifetime politician or um, a youthful looking fellow like him? He's an accomplished uh, politician, a uh, dedicated Democrat, and um, or is she going to choose some better well-known, um, uh, more frivolous, but still interesting option uh the next one next one is the hanged man yes yeah, stuck uh, yeah so this is looking at things from another perspective well this is very interesting too because you've got a tiger hanging upside down now so who is the tiger is the tiger josh shapiro or is the tiger kamala harris and i think it's kamala harris and i think she's hanging she's looking at him she's twisting herself around look looking at him from every perspective and then the final card here the three of cups is is okay so cups are emotional and you see in this card, what do, what are these animals here? It looks like a deer. It looks like uh, maybe a, a gorilla or a bear over here, and uh, a mule, a cow, or is that a dog? I think that's it's either a cow or a dog. So I don't know what significance it would have. I think it's a cow. So we've got a deer. We've got uh, I don't know. So but the three of cups is uh, celebrating uh, together. So one more card. Is he a serious contender for her? The Six of Pentacles. So, you know, that's significant. It's because Pentacles are a value. So I think this very well, he is in the running. He is definitely one of the uh, choices. So he's in her vision, seriously. Okay, so I would imagine during a process like this, there's folks that you have to consider just because for one reason or another that you might not otherwise. Well, John McCain and Sarah Palin. And um, so, is he going to get down to the final three? Because it's always like that. You know, when you're having to make a choice about something important, you narrow it down, and you know she's going to end up with three pictures on her desk, or on her laptop, or on her phone, um, and to, you know, to decide which one of the three. That is a very presidential decision to make and it shows a lot of about the integrity of the uh, candidate uh, when they make a thoughtful choice. So will he make it to the final three? Josh Shapiro, will you be in the final three? There will be no more than three cards for this. Josh Shapiro, will you make it to the final three? Okay, first card is the Knight of Wands. So actions, plans, forward movement, he's going to uh, work for this. The knight is the fighter for his uh, remit, so he's going to he's going to do what he can to get out there. 
Um, the next one is the devil. So making a deal with the devil. Does that mean there isn't almost anything he wouldn't do to uh, to get this done, this uh, choice? And then the nine of cups is wanting to, sh well, it's a look at this. It's wanting to show the trophies of what you've done. It's the greedy merchant, typically. And cups are very emotional. And, but and in this picture, this cat is proud to show that he's just eaten this canary. Look at that. He's, or the, whatever the bird is, he's got a feather hanging out of his mouth. He's got a couple of feathers here. The cage is there empty. And the cat is absolutely defiant in standing there and saying, Look what I've done. So, yeah, he's going to be one of the final three. He's a serious uh, contender. Will he win? Will he run with Kamala Harris as her vice presidential candidate? Will he be the one? One card at a time. Six of Cups. So it's a practice, you know, I want to get a very thorough definition for the Six of Cups uh, while I'm right here. And uh, so the Six of Cups, uh, inheritance, memories, family union, travel, reminiscing. I don't think so. I don't think so. so one more card. The Two of Wands, uh, short term plan. No. Uh, the wands are actually playing forward movement. You see the two wands right here. This uh, rabbit isn't paying attention to the world at its feet. Okay, it's distracted as uh, rabbits uh, tend to be with a short, skittish uh, attention span. So, no, I don't think. And this number two, could he make it to the second round of when there's just two pick? I don't think he's going to make it to the number three. But this makes me want to say, because he's going to be the number two. We'll see what hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so these cards are, are the, just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist, uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson, Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. It comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box, and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this. is Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a, a precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. The book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that uh, she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here she's talking about this was a journey for her, and uh, the Line Strider deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now, she grew up uh, where? She grew up in, uh, she was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia, and so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood, and, um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but I mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and um, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing I mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh, allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination so the beautiful cards good suggestions in the book how to um, you know use them and I just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're doing our shtick and then um, you know, maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards. If you don't see a lot of cards, I know when I was just watching um, this stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go.